Section 3 of 1001 Questions and Answers on English Grammar. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. 1001 Questions and Answers on English Grammar by Benjamin Hathaway. Etymology. Question 1. Of what does etymology treat? the classification properties and derivation of words two how are words classified with reference to use into ten parts of speech three name the parts of speech article noun pronoun adjective verb participle adverb conjunction preposition and interjection four why are they called parts of speech the name parts of speech implies an incompleteness each must be joined to others in order to make a whole or to be speech five what is inflection it is the changes in form which words undergo to denote differences in meaning or differences in the connection in which they are used as the man goes meaning change slightly the men go i am becomes we are six what is a noun it is the name of anything seven what is a pronoun? It is a word used instead of a noun, as James, who was kind to us, has lost his fortune, and must now depend upon himself. 8. What is an adjective? A word that modifies, changes the value of, a noun or pronoun, as the beautiful day. She is happy. Note, sometimes the words a or an in the are reckoned as a separate part of speech and are called articles but as they really modify the meaning of nouns they are only a kind of adjective nine what is a verb a word that asserts or declares ten what is a participle a word partaking of the properties of verbs and nouns or verbs and adjectives as she likes giving the growing child eleven what is an adverb? A word that modifies, changes the meaning of a verb, adjective, or another adverb, as he acts honestly. He is a truly upright boy. She sees him very often. 12. What is a preposition? It is a word that connects other words, showing the relationship between them, as he went with us. 13. What is a conjunction? A word used to connect sentences, or to connect words used in the same way in a sentence, as Mary is very sad, but she is very brave. He and I are good friends. 14. What is an interjection? As the name signifies, it is a word thrown into the sentence, and is of no sense a part of it, but is an exclamation expressive of feeling. It is not, therefore, in the same sense with other words, a part of speech, as, alas, the day, oh, for a calm and thankful heart, oh, horror, hurrah. End of section three.